Creality Cloud, a website where you can find amazing models for your Creality 3D printers. There are some other things that you can do with this service that Creality provides the users for their machines. But there are also some downsides. Let's talk all about it right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. Welcome to this video. You know, a few weeks ago, I was contacted by somebody from Creality Cloud. This person asked me if I was interested to make a video about Creality Cloud. I didn't really use Creality Cloud that much. I, you know, surfed sometimes on there, finding some nice STL files to print on my 3D printers. But I really didn't dive too deep in Creality Cloud in order to know what is all about it. So I deep dived in Creality Cloud to find what Creality Cloud is all about. You know, it is a site that you see like Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, Printables, Thanks, Colts, and many other websites where you can find your SDL files to print on your 3D printer. Especially when you have a Creality machine, I think you want to stay within the realm of Creality, but you don't have to. So you find a lot of cool design models like here, a Cherry Zard, a nice uh, Spider-Man, different kind of models where you can let your creativity just flow on your 3D printer. It's awesome, it's amazing. So uh, let's discover together and uh, see what we can find. I went into incognito mode on Google Chrome to see what you are going to see if you never signed up for Creality Cloud before. So this is the first thing that you can see. Newcomer benefits, free 3D models for you. So we use cookies, yeah, fine. I just click it away. So popular 3D prints. Here we have several models that you can click on it. Can you actually click on it and download it? Well, let's let's find out. You click on one. So this is the uh, glorious baby dragon. Here I already get a notification. I say no thanks because I don't want that. We use cookies. I know that you are using cookies. Here we have the glorious baby dragon. What can you do? You can download, you can cloud slice it. You can also get some print files and the three Pro PLA and it's a one day and one hour print. One day for this? How big is it? Let's try to download this without being signed up. No, you need to sign up for this. Cloud Slice, does Cloud Slice work? No, you also need to be signed up. So therefore I'm going to switch over to the other side and use my account. I'm now on the other side. I'm uh, logged in to my account here. Let's go for another model, a baby fidget spinner. Let's stay in there. So. In order to download something, you need to be signed up. So there's no way around it. Package downloads. This is one of the first things that is kind of annoying. If you are going to download this, upgrade to premium to boost the download speed. So if you're going to download something, I'm going to take another one, something that is a little bit bigger. We are going to do that again. And here you see that it is going to download the package. Upgrade to premium to boost download speed. Please do not close or switch the page when the file is downloading. If you want to go a little bit faster, you can't. You need to wait until this package download is done. After that is done, you will get this dialog screen where you are going to choose where this file is going to be located on your desktop or laptop or some other device that you are using for this application. You can upgrade to, to premium. We are going to talk later about it, what you are going to get. So this is a bigger file, so it will take longer. Of course, if you want to skip the row, then you need to upgrade to premium. And now it's saved. You can also do cloud slicing. For example, just going to click on it. I'm going to show you exactly what you are going to get. In my case, I need the FDM version of it. So here it says support. So that one I deselect and I click on sort slice. There's one thing that you will notice right away. And what is that? You may ask here, upgrade to premium to slice multiple 3D model groups at a time. What does that mean? Device type, let's uh, let's let's go for a normal standard 3D printer. Yeah, let's go to the Creality and the 3 Pro. Yes, here it is. So here's the sort. We uh, we use the web-based slicer, which is cool, which is cool. Uh, let's select the model, scale it. If you are looking to this, I think this is based on Cura Slicer. Why? Because these kind of symbols you also find in, you guessed it, Kira Slicer. Yes. So scale, we are going to scale it. We say like 300%. That's a decent sort, right? This is all the whole build plate. You see that this part is green. I suppose there should be also some, uh, some supports. We have here material PLA 1.75 millimeter. It is a balanced profile. If you click to open it, you can find different kinds of settings. We can 
select here is speedy. We can uh, select dynamic. The choice is yours what you want to choose. Confirm. So here, lay height 0 0.2, line, uh, line width 0 0.2, infill density 10%. This is just going over it. So you can scroll further and it will go automatically to the next in line. And so you can tick everything off of the list, what you are going to need if you are going to slice with this Creality Cloud Slicer. So th these are the build plate adhesion types. Uh, let's, let's go for a brim because this is a very small surface to print on. Then we get shell. Height Z seam, speed 50 millimeters per second. It is a Creality and a 3 Pro. Retraction distance, temperature. Here we need to go for generate support. Let's go for 3 slim, touching the build plate, 45 degree angle. Let's go for gyroid, that is cool. Now we are going to click on slice. When it is done, you will get a message. The only thing you can do to speed it up, upgrade to premium to get priority to slice models. Yeah, let's go for Iron Man. This is the model. We are going to cloud slice it. Confirm. Nice Iron Man. If correct, I still have the... Uh, yeah, supports is still on. So uh, let's click on slice and see see what happens. I see here a uh, notification slicing 8%. When the model is small or tiny, you know, it's slicing on Creality Cloud Slicer is going pretty quickly. But if a model is more complex, it will take longer, obviously. So uh, let's take a look at the other parts of Creality Cloud. If you bought one of the newer Creality 3D printers where you have the possibility to bind with Creality Cloud, you need to go to the workbench in order to, you know, check them out, to uh, to find them, to add them to a specific work group within your home network. You will find them in the uh, workbench on Creality Cloud. In my case, I have called it C3DP Print Farm. One device, because Creality K1 is active, it's online. Creality KA, it's standing on the shelf on the top. Uh, it's not on and therefore unorganized printers. I don't know why it's called like that, but it's it's not active. As soon as if I turn this printer on, it will, it will be active. But here you can find everything about your printer. You can click on it. In my case, I have the Creality K1 with the uh, camera. You will see the camera feed here. You can see everything, the nozzle temperature, the heated bed, the chamber temperature. It's 24 degrees in here. It's correct because I can see it here also on my clock. Yeah, you can you can control the printer from Creality Cloud, which I think it's pretty cool. But then going to your IP address of the 3D printer, you can basically do and see the same thing. Something that I do want to mention right off the bat. Several times you have seen or you could read upgrade to premium. What's the catch? What is going to happen if you go for premium? Let's talk about it and see what the differences are between the free forever, the one month premium and the one year premium. Of course, you can use Creality Cloud free without paying anything for it. But there are also some options. One is a one month premium. You pay like $7.99 and every single month you will be charged $7.99. You can also go for the one year premium, $79.99, so $80 per year. What do you get? What are the differences between that? So let's uh, check the uh, plan benefits. For the free version, when it comes to models, you will have access to the model library. That means for the models that you don't pay have to pay anything for it and batch of download. You can download several models without any problem. And you have maker tools. What does that mean? Moon lamp maker, image to lit lithophane maker, pen holder ma maker. But those, those three options you have. If you are going for the one month premium and basically also the one year premium, you have also exclusive free 3D models. Download high quality paid 3D models from talented designers for free. So where you as a free user need to pay for it you don't have to pay those exclusive models faster download speeds 50 uh, megabits per second for slicing you can use the built-in slicer we saw it is possible to use it slice multiple models and a priority to slice now for the print benefits you will get control printers remotely all of the uh, tiers have them watch printers remotely yes they also have that video playback the they all have that. Video time lapse, very handy, all have that. Print AI detection, the free version doesn't have that. And control more printers. For the first one, control printers remotely, yes, you do have that, but only for up to three 3D printers that are bind to Creality Cloud. If you go for the premium, you can put 
20 printers to Creality Cloud. But then, if you're running a print farm with like 30 or more, how is that going to work? Also, with the 3D printers, if you buy a fourth 3D printer and you like Creality Cloud that much that you want to add a fourth 3D printer, they are forcing you to go for the premium? Is that how it works? Opportunities. The only opportunity you have in the free version is cloud storage to gigabyte. Oh, your avatar gets a cosmetic change into golden. And ad free. So if you are not paying, you will get ads. Like these ads, their own ads. Okay. So yeah, what do I think about Creality Cloud? Let's let's be real honest here. You are buying a brand new 3D printer from Creality. Say in the instructions, in the manual, to add this 3D printer to Creality Cloud, to bind the printer. Just like mentioned, if you are going for a fourth or a fifth 3D printer from Creality, or you are going to start a whole print farm with Creality K1 or Creality K2, for example, when you are going to bind those 3D printers to Creality Cloud, there is a limit of three according to the free forever if you don't mind paying every single year 80 dollars for the premium you can go up to 20 3d printers but i think in my honest opinion something like that should be free because there are some other companies where you don't have to find a printer in order to work with the 3d printer some of the prusa 3d printers that have this network connectivity paying for ai detection i mean like you advertise with a camera with AI detection, and yet this feature is not for the free users. How is that going to work? It doesn't make any sense. Your printer has AI detection or it doesn't. If it doesn't, you don't pay for that. Just like mentioned, I, I have on the K1, I have a camera in there. There should supposed to be AI detection in there, but there is not according to the free version. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to talk about the exclusive things. I mean, uh, nowadays, all, all SDL sharing files like uh, things, like uh, uh, printables, everywhere where you look, you will get more and more of those models that are exclusive and people want to pay for that. I do understand that. But what I don't understand that basic functions, basic services should be free, not pay for that. This is my take on Creality Cloud. In some ways, it does look nice. It does look cool. But then, you know, more and more things being exclusive, like the print AI detection, up to three 3D printers that you can add to Creality Cloud. I think it's total BS. It doesn't make any sense at all. So this is my take on Creality Cloud. I don't know if you are a Creality Cloud user. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about Creality Cloud? Is it worth the shot paying like 80 euros or $80 each year for those exclusive things? If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And uh, you know, check out this video right over here. It's going to be amazing.